Hi, Papa here. We've been talking about the uh, kinds of rocks that are made from the big four minerals. What are the big four minerals? Glassy quartz, gray or clear, if you see it in a rock, if you're looking for it in a rock. Flashy feldspar, white or pink, maybe orangey, with a, if you see it in a rock. Flashy feldspar has a flashy face if it's if the mineral crystal is big enough to have that face that you can see. It'll have a flashy face. Mira muscovite. We all know what muscovite. That's white mica. Shiny, silvery mira. And black biotite. Black biotite is a kind of mica that you can scratch with your nickel coin. Other black minerals are too hard to scratch. So that's how you can tell biotite. Okay, so we talked about granite. We know that granite has, uh, always it has quartz in it, gray or clear. Almost always it has feldspar. Really, always it has feldspar, white or pink. Um, and almost always it has biotite, black mica, and sometimes it has white mica or muscovite, mere muscovite. Okay, and we've talked about how granite forms when two continents come together and crash. This one rides up over this, pushes it down into the molten mantle, which is plasticky hot rock. It melts, and um, it's molten rock that has the minerals that make up granite. It cools deep within the earth and forms granite. Now let's look at granite nice, and you're going to see the difference pretty quickly. Here's a rock. Do you see gray glassy quartz in there? Yeah, there's some. It's not as easy to see. But it's there. Do you see the white feldspar? Yeah, you can see that. Lots of white feldspar. Lots of black biotite, right? Maybe there's some mirror muscovite in there. So you know these are the minerals that make up granite, but look what's different from granite. Do you see stripes? Do you see dark stripes and light stripes? Me too. That's how you can tell this is not granite. This used to be granite, but it was when two continents smashed into each other and one rode up on top of the other, or when two continents sideswiped each other, and pushed granite rock uh, down toward the mantle, but it didn't melt all the way. It just got so hot that it became kind of plasticky. That became metamorphic. That granite became metamorphosed and turned into metamorphic granite, which is granite nice. Granite nice, I think nice is spelled G-N-E-I-S-S. -S. It's a weird word, it's a German word. But that metamorphic process whereby the granite's pushed down almost into the mantle. Hot, it gets hot enough to where it um, can flow like plastic, but it doesn't melt all the way. And when that happens, the light minerals get together and form a stripe, and the dark minerals like biotite, well, light minerals like quartz and feldspar get together and form a stripe. The dark minerals like biotite mostly gets together and forms a stripe and you get granite nice. That's how you can tell metamorphic from granite from regular granite. Same minerals. It looks a lot like granite except it's got these stripes. So let's look at other examples of metamorphic granite. That was a pine cone hitting the roof. Okay, look at this guy. Is there gray quartz? Yes. Is there white feldspar? Yes. I see some silvery mirror mi muscovite micas and some black micas, but they're in stripes. Automatically, you know this is metamorphic granite or granite nice. Granite nice. It got hot and was under great pressure, and it got it didn't get hot enough to melt all the way. If it had melted all the way. It would have reformed as granite, most likely. 
but it got partially melted and that turned it into granite nice. Um, this piece right here is a fresh sample. In other words, it hasn't been eroded. So let's go back to that rule about rocks. Crack your rocks. You, you want to see what's on the inside. You want to see a fresh, uneroded specimen. This is a fresh, or uneroded specimen of ancient granite. One billion year old granite. It came from up near Clayton, Georgia, along Highway 441. Really old stuff. Highly metamorphosed. See the stripes? Black and white stripes. White. The light colored stripes are quartz and feldspar, mostly potassium feldspar. The dark stripes are a biotite mica mostly. The mirror muscovite can probably be in there with the biotite. It just doesn't show up as well. And see, here's a top, kind of a top face, and you can see a lot of biotite, black biotite mica showing up in one of these stripes where the rock's been cracked. Okay. Around here in Piedmont, Georgia, if you get gravel for your driveway, it's going to look something like this. It's going to come from a gravel quarry, and most likely that gravel quarry is going to be in metamorphic granite, granite nice. See the stripes? Wow. Same minerals as in granite, but it's got stripes. Look at this guy. Look at those stripes. There was a lot of movement and mashing around in this piece of granite that turned it into metamorphic granite or granite nice. It's formed these tremendous, like, it looks like one of those um, kinds of pastry rolls that you eat at breakfast time, uh, lunch or supper, or in between two. They're really good. I forget what they call them, but you know what I'm talking about. Granite nice. Same minerals as granite, but look at the stripes. That makes it granite nice. That was my foot. No, not really. Okay, here's a piece of kind of eroded granite. Nice. See, it's not as fresh of a specimen, but you can see the stripes. Light in color. It's got the same minerals as granite, but it's got the stripes. You know you're looking at granite nice. Most of the rock in the Piedmont, quite a lot of the rock in the Piedmont of Georgia and in the, in the Piedmonts going all the way up the eastern United States is granite or granite gneiss. There's more, I'm pretty sure there's more granite gneiss, metamorphic granite, than there is just regular granite. Okay, let's keep looking. Here's an old eroded piece. You see gray quartz, white, feldspar, there's some black spots in there, but it's kind of stripy, not exactly. That's that's the kind of thing you find out in the field. And you always need to crack it. One of the really helpful things about picking up a rock and identifying it is to know where you are, what province you're in. So let's look at the provinces, the physiographic and geologic provinces of Georgia. And these, these basically apply to the whole Eastern U.S. So we're going to the book. This is Georgia. You can see these different physiographic provinces. That means, physiographic means based on the, the land form, the way the land looks. This big green thing is our Piedmont, rolling hills, um, and s almost all of the rock here, virtually all of the rock except two kinds, is metamorphic rock. Down below that is the coastal plain, the sandy coastal plain. There's not a lot of rock down there, but the rock that is down there is sedimentary rock. Rock that, it's not, uh, it's not metamorphic rock. Um, and then we have some mountain provinces. It's the Blue Ridge Mountains here. Metamorphic rock mostly. This is the Valley and Ridge province. It's where, like, um, Cartersville, Rome, uh, Chatsworth, um, Dalton. These are mostly sedimentary rocks. And then there's the Cumberland Plateau or the Allegheny Plateau, which is like where Cloudland Canyon is and Lookout Mountain. And that's mostly sedimentary rocks. 
not metamorphic. So this is the big place, mountains and the Piedmont, the rolling hills of the Piedmont and the mountainous areas are where you're going to find metamorphic rock. So it helps to know what province you're in. And one of the good things about this book is it lists all the provinces and it tells you what kind of rocks that you might find there. Let me get, here we go, here's a list. See, we're talking about um, the Piedmont, part of the Piedmont called the Ebrip and the Carolina Drain. It tells you all the kinds of rocks that you're going to encounter. Um, so if, you, if you, you're not going to encounter strictly sedimentary rocks in the Piedmont, they might be metamorphosed sedimentary rocks. We'll go over that later. Uh, you're not going to find metamorphic rocks in the, uh, pretty much in the valley and ridge or the coastal plain. So it, it helps to know that. And this, this book tells you that kind of stuff. Rocks of Georgia. So let's look at some more. Here's a, here's a piece of granite nice. Sometimes the stripes are obvious. Sometimes they're not as obvious. Here's, you got the stripes going on. This is, this is pretty eroded, but you can look in there and find the, the big four, or at least three of the four. You can always find quartz and almost and always find feldspar. You can often find biotite, and you can most of the time or quite frequently find muscovite as well. So, just one more piece because I really like showing it. <laughs> See the stripes, swirls and stripes. This is a piece of gravel from my driveway, black biotite in a stripe, and this quartz and feldspar in a stripe. Mirror muscovite is in there too. It's just not as common and it's spread all out. Okay, so now you know the there are four really important minerals in uh, a lot of the rocks of the eastern United States, including Georgia. That's quartz, feldspar, uh, muscovite, and biotite. And you know that um, some of the major rock types in the eastern United States are number one, granite, which is the Call it an igneous intrusive rock. That means it it forms underground from uh, continental crashing. It starts off as a molten rock or a magma, and then granite gneiss, which is just granite rock that's been put under pressure and heat when continents crash. It gets hot, but not hot enough to melt all the way. Uh, it melts a little bit, and the plasticky minerals separate and flow into stripes of light colored stripes and dark colored stripes. You know a lot about a rock, uh, the rocks of Georgia and the Eastern United States right now. Okay, I'm looking at you now, yeah. Um, so take this information and I want you to go out and look for these rocks. Go see if you can uh, find some metamorphic granite. It's gonna be easier to find than regular granite because there's just more of it around. Maybe all you gotta do is go to your driveway or uh, if it has gravel on it like mine does, uh, if you wanted to go to your local rock quarry, they would probably give you a sample of the rock there, and more than likely it's going to be granite or granite nice. You can easily tell the difference. Now look for the stripes. It's granite nice. Um, go to Stone Mountain, Georgia, if you want to see some granite. Come to Elbers in Georgia, and uh, you can go uh, to some of these places that, that cut the uh, Elbers in granite, and they'll give you piles and piles of granite samples. They'd love to do that. Show you how they cut the stuff and polish it. And in Elberton, there's a granite museum you can look at. You can also see the crazy, wacky uh, Elberton granite, excuse me, guide stones, which are like the Stonehenge of Georgia. I personally think they're kind of hokey myself, but uh, they're an interesting, they're made of granite, the Elberton granite, so you can get a good look at it. At it. There. If you go up to the eastern United States, let's say you go into Virginia to look at some of the national parks up there, look for granite everywhere you go. Take a rock and crack it and say, is this granite? Is this granite nice? And you're well on your way to uh, becoming uh, a knowledgeable individual when it comes to rocks and geology. All right, pop out.